What's going on guys, Kyle here. Just getting the boat ready for a bit of a mission tomorrow. I've got one of my mates, Jono, joining with me and another special guest. Now he'll be arriving very, very shortly. He's just driving up, but um, can't wait. He's just as keen as us. And uh, we're gonna go hit the Great Barrier Reef tomorrow, running about 120 k's offshore. And we're gonna go chase some big, big pelagics um, and some trout and stuff like that. Um, it should be a good day. I think we're going to get into a few, the tides are perfect, a little bit choppy which is a perfect, perfect, perfect for that subsurface sort of surface fishing and I think, you know, it's, it's going to happen for us so fingers crossed, we get out there, we smash them but I don't have any doubt, it's a great barrier reef, you know, it's, it's always game on out there. Yeah, up in there it is, but it gets deeper as you work out. Yep. Uh, uh, it is great. This is a trout. Uh, trout? Yeah. I'm trying to rig up here and you're in your second. Uh, uh, that's a good fish. Yeah. Oh no, it's a red throat. Red throat? Uh, yep. Uh, uh. Oh, that one gave me a bit of curry. Yeah. I reckon the other one was bigger. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Uh, you're right, mate. Yeah, I got him. You're right, mate. John is on too. Double. <laughs> Double. I'm trying to rig up. Trout. Legal or no? Uh, That's not a trout? No, it's not. That's like a banded yeah, cod of some sort. Of some sort. There's heaps in that tackle box. That's a big one, eh? Big one. Yeah, nice. Very nice. That's it, I'm changing lures. Trout. Don't want that rubbish. <laughs> oh, you're on a Johnny! Strike! Oh, big trout! Oh, big trout! Big passion fruit trout. Um, five or six quick wines, Andy, and then let it pause. We find works best. What's that? More intense than any stag or... Yeah, 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 100%. Yeah, that's a good one. 
Oh. Yep. Oh, again. Right. Yep. Oh, again. He's off it now. He should be on yours. Footballer? Baby footballer. That was just on the on the rewind. Oh, it's not nothing. Is it? Yeah, it's not that there. Oh well, I only need a V40 30 centimetres bigger. And you can keep them. Oh, dropped it. See that? No. Big tree. Yep. Oh, I see it. Yeah. It's good, yeah. Red thread, I think. Yeah. Oh, you're on, Johnny. Oh. Was he on? Yeah. I'm just sitting there filming you guys. Your fish. Oh, gone. Dang it. I wanted to keep him though, because I didn't have that many fish. I'm not really pulling my weight, am I? Come on, Andy. Up your game, mate. Yep. Oh, there's a nice one. Next fit cast. I think it's another red throat. <sighs> Yeah, I think so. That was the next car. Yeah. I can't blame the front of the boat. Yep, that's a trout. Oh, you believe me? Look at it. There it is, right there. Honestly, a trout. <laughs> that is a trout. Nice trout. Great trout. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sweet. You just take it off? Yeah, man. Just turn it off the top there. Look at, the, look at the red thread on him. Oh, yeah. Got him. Don't want to have him. Don't want 
across there. There's heaps of them. <laughs> Set that hook. What is that? It's not a red throat. It's like a red bat. No, it's one of those. Oh, oh. Tail. oh get him on. You got one too. I think so. Oh, oh gone. Done ya. That's a really pretty fish. I've never caught one of these before. Yeah, no, I need neither of mine. Yeah, I'll just snap another hook. Wow. Well, that's a cool fish. Let's have a look at that one. That is really cool. I think these are... They're the poisonous ones, aren't they? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, no, the paddle tails are. These are poisonous? Yeah. They've got that dual knot. Oh, Jono's on too. Oh, he's on. Did you still got him? What do you got? Paddle tail or no? Nah, it's different. That's trout, is it? No, it's a yellow thing. Oh, yep. Yellow, yellow sweetly big. So what, in, in terms of don't touch them, they're poisonous? Or? No, no, eating. Eating like um, the cigatera type stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah, but that's that's really cool. It's definitely a paddle tail. Yeah. Yeah. Very pretty fish, though. They are. They almost look like a um, like nanogai. yellow belly or something. Yeah, they're like a nanogai mixed yellow belly mixed everything else. Something, but yeah. yeah. Awesome fish, eh? They are. They're Very really cool, cool fish. And this, that's really weird. Could, is it on the same side? On yeah, the I think side? that's from my hook. Oh, it looks healed no, though, doesn't no, it? It's, yeah. So it's, it's oh, an injury. It's, no, 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 it's on both sides. It is on both sides. Yeah. That's bizarre. That's very bizarre. I'm going to have to look that up and see what it is. So apparently... What is it, Andy? A paddle tail? Yeah, definitely a paddle tail. Paddle tail? Poisonous? Uh, poisonous to eat, like cigatera. Oh, so high level of cigatera, but... Look, we think. So let us know what you think, if, if they are edible or not. But um, we'll let this guy go. Yes! Oh my god! That is a big thing. Oh. What is that? Oh! I think it's a red bass. Oh, this got me pricked. Oh! Here he comes. I think. Or is it a big trout? No, it's a red bass. It is a red bass. It's a big red bass. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Ooh, red bass here. Yeah. It's been a while since I caught one of these. This is a big one. Yeah. Ugh. Good bite, oh, nice. That's a fat bass. Guys on Christmas Island love to eat that, mate. We don't eat it. No way, Sigatera. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's a big fish. Oh, no, we'll pull him in the boat. Okay. Do you want to grab maybe the net? Oh, no. I just, yeah. What's that? Want a photo. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's my biggest red bass ever. That's a fat, fat red bass. Nice. Oh, a few kilos in that one. Yeah. How big you reckon? Eight, nine? Six, seven? Yeah. Minimum. Yeah, six and a half, seven. Yeah. That is a solid fish. Whoa. Oh. Only took one of your trebles, or is that the one around? No, no, no. Right, we'll just leave it in there, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just for the photo. Some bogus. Yeah, let's get some bogus. Jeez, what a fish. It's a stonker red bass. Yeah. What a horse. Got big eyes on him. Eh? Look at the shoulders on him. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's an awesome fish, eh? Yeah. Good. Well, that. I'll let this big guy go. Yeah. Oh, almost, almost left the big Vegas.
guys, we're back at the house after a pretty eventful day. Um, we got smacked into a couple of good fish. Um, you saw that big red bass that I got, that was my PB, which is, um, which is massive. I'm absolutely pumped about that. It was huge, pulled hard. Um, I just wanted to go through the gear that we're using. I had a couple of people ask what lures we're using. Um, and over the reef flats like that, I tend to use one lure. The reason being, it's versatile. Um, you can work at a heap of different speeds and the fish love it. This lure is called the Western Swim. It's a, um, this particular model is a 58 gram sinking sort of swim bait slash glide bait you could call it. Um, and it's perfect. Big long cast over the reef flats, pulling it back, big sweeps with the rod or a couple wines, pause, couple wines, pause. We find it extremely effective. You can hear it's got some ball bearings in there. And that just calls fish from a long, long while away. Now, they come already set up with good quality terminal tackle as well. They're pretty much just a plug and play. Whack them on your line, throw them out, and you're ready to go. Um, just wanted to show you how effective these lures are. Now, this lure here started off brand new in the beginning of the day. Uh, it had a color like this. Now, you can see this one's been smacked around a bit as well, but this is the color it was when it first started. Now, this is all that's left. You can see you got a little bit of colour left on the head there. Like I said guys, extremely effective, very very good on the on the reef species. I've thrown them at tuna, um, even in the impoundments of big big barra, these lures work a treat. Um, you have a couple of different sizes as well which is really really great and you have the sinking which is, which is these ones and then you have the intermediate which sinks to about one to three meters as well. So Perfect for the barra in terms of suspending right in front of the face. And these ones here, if you're working a deep ledge, you can let them sink a little bit, they'll go down, you can work them out, and the fish just love them. They just, they just catch fish. Once again, guys, I appreciate the fact that you watch my videos. Give it a like, give it a subscribe, and once again, thank you. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Kyle underscore Hennig, and um, there's heaps more photos on there as well. Thanks, guys.